Good. All right. Uh, so we just talked about this, no matter what, right? No matter what, whenever you are trying to factor something, what is the first thing you are supposed to check for? GCF. So step number one, GCF. So in this case, do you have a GCF? Two. Two. So we got to pull out a GCF. So in this case, our, we have a GCF of two. So we're going to divide everything by two. And now we have uh, what's that? 6x squared minus 11x plus 4. Uh, so I wrote this in a different color because obviously your GCF is out here. Okay. Uh, but I want you to understand that the GCF is part of your answer, but I am factoring what's in green. Okay, so the two is not going to be involved in me factoring. So when you factor, right, when we factor, right, we're taught to use the what? What are you taught to use? The big X, correct? We are still using the big X. So step number two after we check for GCF, we're going to use the big X. Okay. So if I use the big X, what do you like to put on the bottom of the big X? B. B. So what's the B value? That's your B value. What's the B value? I heard 11. Negative 11. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. What is it goes on the top? Do you guys know what goes a, on the top? A, a times C. A times C. It's not just your C value. It was easier in this problem because what was your A value? One times negative 72 is negative 72. Now it's your A value times your C value. So I have plus 24. This is A times C, this is your B value, okay? So that's the trick. It's gotta be A times C. Can't just be your C value. Uh, factors that multiply to make 24 add to make negative 11. Very nice, negative eight, negative three. Now, normally, right? Normally, the way you know how to factor, what would you do next? The way you've always factored, what would you do next? So you create your binomials, correct? I'm not changing any rules. So step number three, create your two binomials. So I'm going to go over here. So this is step three. Uh, what goes in the front of your binomial? Do you know why? Like I'm just asking a general question of why X goes first. Came first. But why am I allowed to put, why am I allowed to put an X here and an X there? close. Why am I allowed to write two? Because it's squared. And x squared means how many x's do I have? Two. two. So I'm splitting the x's up evenly to x and x. Okay. And then you would put negative eight there and negative three there, correct? What you've been doing, that's what you did for your warm up, right? Now it starts to challenge. Now I start to change it. So step Number four, divide your last terms by your A value. So you gotta divide by your A value. What is your A value? Six. Six, I, uh, I heard 12. What are we factoring? 
What's in blue or what's in green? Green. We're not factoring the blue. We're factoring the green. Notice that's why the A was written there, not up there. Divide by your A value, which is 6. Okay. What did I just create? Fractions. Okay, very nice. And when you have fractions, what should you probably check when you have fractions? Starts with the letter R. Reduce them. You're supposed to reduce fractions, right? So step number five. Reduce fractions. So what's this one reduced to? Negative four over three, good job. And this reduces to one half, correct? Last step would be step six. If you have a denominator, move it in front of your letter. So this is kind of just like a little cheat code to kind of get us what we need. So if you have a denominator, right, which you're not supposed to have, right, you take that value and you move it out in front. Take that value, move it out in front. So we have 3x minus 4 and 2x minus 1. Watch. What is 3x times 2x? 6x. What is negative 4 times negative 1? There's only one other thing I'm forgetting because I can't box that yet. What am I forgetting? Good, GCF. You gotta write the two out in front. So there would be your two, which is your GCF. Box it, we're done.